the gold medalist, Glenn Bittenbender. Those ladies and gentlemen are the gentlemen that will be representing our country at the World Championships in Milan, Italy. Let's give them a nice round of applause and wish them good luck. And now I'd like to announce the winner of the team division. This team will represent our country in the championships this August in Milan, Italy. The gold medalist and our representatives for the year 1983, Devil's Advocate. I need to clean up a lot of my routine and get it into shape more. Endurance, get a lot more endurance. And you can also do that to lift it to the front. Okay, now you get to stand up. Ugh, pain. And we're gonna do this roll across the neck and out the arm. Now you have to lean back has to be back and has to stay on a vertical plane. Now, come across to, to the front again, turning to your right, put the baton on your arm and do an elbow layout. All right, now we're gonna do a double elbow pop, long arm, catch. Okay, fish tail, cut back, grab behind the back. Left hand fish tail, one, match to the back. I guess baton twirling vertical is so neck much more developed in the United States because um, it caught on here sooner than it caught on in Europe. Uh, I think uh, whether, it would, whether it's good or bad for the United States uh, from a competitive standpoint, uh, the European countries are catching on very quickly. I think we're helping them do that and we want to do that. We're now sending our coaches, we're now sending our athletes, and we're sending our judges to the European countries. We want them to develop, and we want them to develop as fast as they can because we believe that it's important for the entire growth of international baton twirling. Tighten. Come on. Uh oh. Follow through. Now, tighten. Good. Place it. All right, now that was looking better. I wish I would have caught the trick to show you what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I like the first piece of music because I think it's really strong and I think it really is reflective of your style. See, I think that that's your weakest area of your whole routine is your mm. spin technique. Well, see, I don't think, I, don't, I feel I don't have that many spins. I don't mm. think they're going to be counting tricks at the world no. competition. All they care about is the impact. And you know how they love it when they just sling it up there really high and yeah. do all of those just tricks underneath. Yeah. Well, I'll think about it. Um, I do like that, where you do that Sinead, turn you open up and that lean and kneel. Mm. I really like that. Go for it! <laughs> okay, you gave up! Your middle attitude went down! The advantage, of course, of going into the U.S. trials is to see the competition and, and see what she'll probably have to be competing against. Um, It'd give her, it will probably give her a little bit of psychological help more than anything. And of course, uh, being around the, Amer the American competitors is always good. It always pushes you harder um, to practice harder and, and push yourself to that, that extra level that you have to go to. Now, the other thing on this that you want to remember is all the tosses need to be the same height because if they're not, again, it affects the timing. You can't keep it going. All right, let us move on to time tosses. Okay, 
Right hand thumb release, back hand release, thumb release, back hand release, thumb release, back hand release. Now, I don't really consider this a basic trick. What we found when we are helping the elite athlete is that the mental preparation has much to do with determining who's victorious and who's second and, and third best. So what I'm going to do now with Leslie is to take her through a very simple direct drill, which is called a contrast drill. This contrast drill will prepare her to escape from the here and now. Ready? Tense up. Tense up. Hold it. One, two, three. Let go. Beautiful. Now try to let your whole body sink now. Try to let your head hang so that you're comfortable. That's it. I want your whole body to be as relaxed as we can induce it. Now that you're beautifully relaxed, Leslie, I want you to go back and take out a tape in your mind of your performance. I want you to see colors, to sense the audience, to sense the arena or the stadium where you're performing. Jesus! Jesus! I want you to smell smells. I want all five senses to be as rich and to be responding to all the stimuli that are present. This evening, we will be seen a baton twirling demonstration by a young lady that has also traveled a long ways, all the way across the waters from Glasgow, Scotland. This young lady is a six-time Scottish champion, five-time British national champion, and the 1982 European twirling champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it was with a great deal of pleasure for me and for you, let's have a warm Las Vegas welcome for Miss Leslie Wood. Leslie? I want you to see yourself poised, standing. I want you to sense your costume. I want you to feel the baton. I want you to see yourself standing now. You're ready for the downbeat of your music. Ready? Go into your performance now. <laughs> Open your eyes now. Tell me, if you can, uh, where were you performing? 